And for 21 minutes, she rides like this, upside down and begging for her life. This is some slavery sh oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, God. <laughs> officer, please let me out. Please, officer, don't let me die back here. That's not what we're hired to do. We are not judge, jury, and executor. Chief said she was struck at one point by how desperate Kelly became. So she assumed the role of a slave. She denigrates herself to the point. She doesn't know what to do that she actually calls him master. How many times I gotta beg you, master? Master, I'll be good. That, to me. Honey, why are you head down like that? <laughs> Kelly I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone shalom to the elect peace to the elect I want to do a response off this video here um, on a uh, GMS doc doc YouTube Apostle Taha's channel I check out a lot of videos you know and I just happened to come across this one as well and uh, this one I wanted to do a response on according to the comments this is Jake calls E master Babylon will fall soon which is very true and this is just showing the hypocrisy of Babylon but I want to go further into this lesson and um, do I feel sorry for this woman not really okay and I'll tell you why um, according to the scriptures you know now we do have we have a form of compassion for our people okay who don't know but at this stage of the game they pretty much should know I'm pretty sure this woman that's thrown in the back of this police cruiser when we say what we say about E uh, Edom and what he's done she would push that this is hatred okay now hatred is thrown on our people and let me say hatred to the so-called black man. Okay? Hatred to the so-called black man. Now, what I found interesting is out of all the things to call, this man would be master. So it seems somewhere deep inside in her spirit, she knows what is. You know, and it's amazing how people will take their place and according to turmoil and because this this man Edom he's in rulership this is why our women will have no problem in such situations taking place right this is not our rest and um, I don't know I looked at the comments and uh, there's a lot of brothers who are on point it's not that they're wrong you know, because you get upset about what this man is doing to our people and un unrighteously. But our people are not hearkening to the voice of the Lord. These are all. This is all judgment. Let's get Jeremiah 11 and 14. It says, Therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. Right? Neither cry or pray for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And when you keep, re you keep reading, I believe it's in, this, in this chapter, it says don't cry for them because their iniquity is accomplished. When that time comes, it's going to be worse than this. Okay? Now the question would be, who are you more mad at? Edom or our woman? <laughs> or both. Well, when you look at it, Edom is doing what he's supposed to do. He's been put in this position to be that kind of person, that man, okay? The son of perdition. He's been in that place to do what he does. And maybe our women have too because of the curses. I saw someone put Deuteronomy 
30, 28, the curse is all day. True, Jeremiah 30 and 16, all that they devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. That's the scriptures. Okay? I don't know. I just think, uh, who knows this woman, her behavior from the beginning to be thrown in a position like that. And this is the dangers of bad parenting, too. Because you got mothers who will teach their sons to behave like that. Okay? And then when they get to a certain age, understanding the son wouldn't have made, probably made it back safely in a paddy wagon or a cruiser. He would have made it back in a hearse. Okay? Because then the little boys look at that and feel, well, I could talk like that, too. And the little girls. The girls kind of get more of a favor. Uh, here's another woman said, this piss, pisses me off. Well, really what should piss us off is the behavior of our people. And understanding that the Lord has done that to us. Why? For going against um, the Heavenly Father. And this person, he's just been posting all over the Hebrew, Yisraelite, Yisraelite, uh, Yahawadite. He said, as a Hebrew Israelite, Yahawadite, being, being a.k.a. the highest God of the earth and with the heavens, I say unto you, and I say harlots, E, just like your harlot mother Eve, okay, it is scripturally, historically, globally known that the Hebrew um, Judite, basically, females, a.k.a. are so-called African-American females, are the, you know, our enemies, basically. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Okay, somebody said, one brother, Prince of Power Judah, two-thirds going to get mass judgment. And somebody said, what Esau gets, nothing. <laughs> See, the concern, you know, the scriptures say that don't be concerned of how the heathen gets punished. Don't worry about that. He's going to get what he get. But our, our job right now is to warn the people, okay? That's the main concern, you know, or um, warning the people. We have to warn the people, okay? I'm just rolling through this. A couple of brothers put the scriptures that I would have pulled. Jeremiah 14th chapter, 11th chapter. Um, he, he's not going to get no mercy in the kingdom. Absolutely right. Deuteronomy 28 all day. That's what I was going into. Um, pretty much that's it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. There was mixed, there was mixed uh, conversation about that. But our people, uh, when we, we out there teaching, who do you think we're warning? We we have to condemn our uh, the um, the owner, the rulers of this world. Yes, according to scriptures. But who are we out there for? To reach the elect of our people. We don't know who the exact elect is, so we reach out to, to uh, the Israelites, and we tell them, if you don't get it together, this is what could happen to you. What caused this woman to behave this way in this manner that this uh, this Edo have gotten so angry to chain her up? I, I really doubt that he just wanted to pick her up, chain her up, flip her over, and throw her in the car and go for a ride. I'm not saying it ain't possible, but I really doubt that. I more likely believe that she, this woman was running at the mouth and... Unlike us as so-called black men, we don't have the power, you know, to, uh, re, you know, restrain our women from this behavior. But they do. <laughs> we don't have that power, but they do. They have all the power in the world to do that. We don't have no power of disciplining our women. I'm sure there's plenty, plenty of Jakes that would have had no problem doing this exact same thing if he could get away with it if it if it meant straightening up and i guarantee you when she got out of there she probably gave him much much respect after that we all know he gonna get what he gonna get though there's no doubt about it you're gonna pay for that and that's not why i'm making i'm not making this video concerning uh eat man 
It's about our women. It's about our people who just don't want to listen. Jeremiah 4.30, And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain uh, shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. We're coming in the time of the end. We're coming in the time where this man is losing his power. And upon losing his power, his anger and his frustration is going to come out on anyone who's around him and who you think surrounds themselves with this man. A lot of you, a lot of you Jakes will not accept that this is what our women do. And it's a whole lot of things that's happening with our women and these, these men in secret locations. You can act like it don't exist, but it does. Because these women really don't, you know, they really, our women really don't have that respect for Jake. Right? Our women don't have a respect for Jake. If that was a Jake, she wouldn't have said that. So I think deep inside, she understands what all our women pretty much really do understand. That's why they don't have respect for us. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.